Hi, and welcome to part two of this drag and drop inventory series. In this video, we are creating the function to add items to our inventory. We will also be making a collectible that we will place in the world to test out our inventory. Let's get started. First, let's go back to the inventory component. We're going to create a new function. And we're going to name it add to inventory. We're going to add an input, which will be called inventory, and it will be our st underscore inventory. We're also going to create an output. We're going to rename it to item edit, and this will be a boolean. Right click on inventory and promote to local variable. Rename it to inventory ref. From here, we're going to drag to the right and do a for each loop with break. We're going to get our inventory array connected to the for each loop. Right click the array index and promote to local variable going to rename it to index ref we're going to right click the array element split struct pin we're going to get the name and equal exactly we're going to get our inventory ref split the struct and connect it We're going to get our quantity and check if it's less than our max stack. We're going to create an end boolean. And from here, we are going to create a branch. We're going to create another local variable, which is called found. Drag set connected to the true output and connected to the break the next thing we're going to do is another branch we're going to check if we have found it We're going to get our inventory array. We're going to get a copy. The index will be our index ref. We're going to split. We're also going to get our array. Set array element. The index will be the index reference. We're going to split the struct. Gonna connect the name, connect the image, connect the max stack, and from quantity, we want to add one. From here. We're going to say get all widgets of class. Get our inventory. We're going to get a copy. We're going to check if it is valid. If our inventory is open, we want to set grid. We want to get our return node. Also connect the is not valid and make sure the item is added. If we have not found, we are gonna do another for each loop with break. We're gonna get our inventory array. We're 
gonna split the array element structure. We're gonna get our quantity and check if it is zero. We will also be setting our index reference. going to create a branch if we have found it we're going to check found to true and connect it to the break from completed we're going to do another branch we're going to check if we have found it Have. We're going to get our inventory array, set array element. We're going to get our index reference. We're going to get our inventory reference and connect it to the ID. We're going to copy and paste this part. Connect it to the set array element. We're going to copy our return node, and connect it to the false and uncheck item edit. Let's compile and save. We can go to the event graph now. We're going to delete the create widget part. I'm going to search for tab. Scroll up a little bit. And under keyboard events, select the tab. When we press tab, we're gonna get all our widgets, our user inventory, we're gonna get a copy. We're gonna check if our inventory is valid. If it is valid, then we're going to remove our inventory from the screen. We're going to set our input mode to game only. We're going to get our player controller. And we're going to set show mouse cursor to false. Now, if our inventory is not on the screen, we're going to create a widget and that will be our inventory. We're going to add it to the viewport. We're going to set the input mode to game and UI. We're going to get our play controller. And we're going to set show mouse cursor to true. What we just have done is create a toggle for our inventory. Let's compile and save. We can close the component now. Now, if you play our game and we hit tab, we can open and close our inventory. Now let's create an actor to collect items and add them to our inventory. I'm gonna rename it to BP underscore collectible. Let's open our new blueprint. And the first thing we're going to add is a static mesh. We're also going to add a box collision. As static mesh, I will select the cube. I am going to center it in the middle. I'm going to select the box. Set the box extent to around 100. And I am going to align it to the center as well. Let's compile, save, and go to the event graph. We can delete all these, we won't need them. Select the box, scroll down, and search for on component begin overlap. From other actor, we're going to cast to our character blueprint. We are going to get component by class. Search for the inventory component. And 
we're going to add to inventory. And we need something to uh, for the input. So we're going to create a variable called inventory. That will be our inventory structure. Make sure instance editable and expose on spawn are true. And we're going to connect it to the input. We are going to create a branch to check if the item has been added to our inventory. If it has, then we are going to get all actors of class, get all widgets of class. We're going to get our inventory, get a copy, check if it is valid. And if it is valid, then we are going to set grid. And then we will destroy this actor. Make sure the is not valid is also connected to the destroy actor. For debugging purposes, we're going to add a print string. And in string, we will say item collected. If the item has not been added to our inventory, we're going to print string and say inventory full. Let's compile and save. Now, if you drag this actor into our level, on the right, we can change the inventory structure. I'm going to name it cube. I'm going to pick a random image. Quantity is one, max stack is five. And now if we run into our object, we can see item collected and it has been added to our inventory. Now if we create a little bit more of our actor, we're gonna create six. We're gonna create one more and give it a different name. Let's say cube one. We pick up cube one, got a new inventory array and you can see it's stacked up to five and when it's full it will pick a new inventory slot that's all for part two thank you for watching it would mean a lot to me if you would like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you guys next time for part three